What up, players? Subscribe! What up, players? Warboss Tay up in this mood. This was supposed to be an in with the old video showcasing these five beastmen gores and these two corn gore command group models but what happened was when I when I put the video together and I uploaded it I needed to clear space on my computer so I deleted it from my hard drive the, the I deleted the clips and then I listened to the finished product and the music levels were too loud again so there was no way that I could change it with my computer so I just I deleted the whole thing and that makes me sad because I did a whole review of the the sprues for the Beastmen Gores and I also reviewed these two unpainted models went back when they were unpainted and that's so sad because I love putting together the videos where you get to see all the models unassembled, unpainted, totally new in box or on the sprue and then and then you get to see the finished product at the end but this is really gonna just be a a finished product video. I'm gonna try and do as much of a review as I can on on what it was before I painted them and hopefully that will be enough. So these two models on the end they're corn gores and I believe they were released with the Storm of Chaos campaign, worldwide campaign that Games Workshop did in the early 2000s. So let's take a look at these models. If you don't know the Beastmen are an evil race in the Warhammer Fantasy Battle Game system and these two models are supposed to be, I believe they're sp supposed to be Bestigors. So I made a mistake right off the bat by not using Bestigore models, but that's okay because I think the, the end product still came out pretty well. And Bestigores are really well equipped beastmen. They're, they're, the, they're the better warriors of the beastmen race and whereas regular gores are less armored, their weapons aren't as aren't as new or clean and the, in beastmen society for this game the length of your horns will dictate how important you are in the clan or in the tribe so the beastmen with the smallest horns are called ungores the beastmen with these medium-sized hor horns are called gores, simply gores, and these super gores have are supposed to have really, really long horns, kind of like a ram, and there's, they are called bestigores. So in the new bestigore frame, you can really see where they curled the horns around, where they, they really made their horns really big and spectacular, but for these older models, the details weren't quite there yet, which you can tell by looking at the corn gore's armor. Basically, sorry, most of this guy's figure, the most of the model is just this chain mail, this link chain mail. So it was really easy to paint compared to the other gores where you want to follow the contours of their body, their body structure and their musculature and everything. And let's take a look at the musician. For those of you who don't know the system or the, the Warhammer world, Korn is the evil god, the blood god of battle and war and, and killing and slaughter and, and he loves skulls so all of his followers try to get him as many skulls as they can to worship him. He's one of the four evil gods in the system. Uh, so, so skulls are a huge motif, which Games Workshop just loves skulls to begin with, so everybody's happy. Um, the banner I painted up to look like flayed human skin with these skulls and metal and reds on it. And the back of the banner I was thinking of painting red as if to represent like, you know, the, the back where they're all bloody and everything, but I decided that that would be too much, too much red on the model. I, I wanted the red to only be a spot color, so I didn't do that. Okay, and there's a musician with his human skin drum, of course. And now let's take a look at the regular models. These newer models I love so much because it looks like the wind is sweeping through their fur or their hair. and. 
they have a really like the way their legs are are back jointed like that really gives them an animalistic tribal look to him along with you know the the goat face the goat heads the animal heads and the horns and everything so as you can see I tried to do red as a spot color so on the belt buckles or on these leather armbands rather than just deck them all out in red like the original 2003 corn gores I think were they're like all red or really dark red but I wanted them to have a more human look to them which if you've been watching my videos is something that I I like to stress that the humanity in the evil characters so that it's it's, it's creepier, it's scarier to, to see something that's so close to being human and I don't think you can really see it because my lens is the lens I have on this camera don't really get in there but I painted up each of their eyes and their, the eyes on these heads are fantastic because they're longer because the heads are longer than a regular human's the pupil or the, the actual eyeball is wider so that that's really good Sorry, trying to balance my lamp. I gave them double-handed weapons instead of hand weapon and shield. Or not double-handed weapons, but two hand weapons. Because I wanted them to have more attacks to do more killing. The more, the more attacks you have, the more chance you have of wounding, killing the, the enemy. And that's kind of what corn is all about. So I did some red for this guy's skull necklace. Let's see if we can get him a little bit closer. There you go. Ew! Yeah, so you can see how I did with the what I did with the eyes. Mmm. Me angry. Mmm. And this oh, this Freddy Krueger head, so gross. Gross, GW, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for giving me nightmares. And the arrow's like, look at that! Brr. So I went with the, like I said, a human skin color for the for the flesh tones. And a lot of dark browns and beiges for the bandages. And Devlin mud to make the, the iron seem really rusted. All the metal iron parts look just really corroded and rusted. I didn't want to go with the orange rust because I thought that might be too much color. I just wanted the metal to look really dull and I think I did that. For the basing, I used Army Painter's Battlefield's range of flocking, which is some moss green, grass green for these for these little green flocking bits, and their stepped grass, which is shorter than GW grass, which I think is great because the GW grass looks just really it looks really long and if you don't get it to clump in the right way then it looks like it's just out of place on the base whereas this looks like it's just a little clump of crabgrass or something it looks much more natural with these shorter strands of, of grass to me okay so let's go back along and look at this close-up in close-up view ah oh, I'm angry the beastman's fluff is that it used to be, I'm not sure with their new book because I don't have it, but there are natural enemies of the wood elves. They hate them. They just love to run around the forest and chop down all the trees and destroy anything that has to do with civilization. Even though they live in the, the dark forests, their, their mutation, they're an aberration of, of the natural way of being. So they go around chopping down the trees and, and burning down the forest and stuff. I love this guy because he's got like this little bit in his mouth thing, like a horse with the knife on, on the edge, a blade on the edge. Woo, that's so fun. That is awesome. For the skin, I used Talon Flesh. I washed it down with Ogren Flesh. 
and then I highlighted back up with Tyler and Flesh and then I mixed in some denim stone to give the lines. Got some uh, extreme highlighting going on on the skin and it's a little bit more effort but I think it looks it looks better from a medium distance away when you can see the, the contours and the definition of the model. Okay, who's next? Yeah, like I said, the eyes were really easy but really fun to paint. You give them human eyes rather than big, large, black pupils and it just creeps them out. Oh, my face! Oh, my face! Oh, it hurts. That's, that's really gross. It's really gross. And as you can see, the Devlin mud really shades nicely these um, these different contours. Oh, gotta touch that up. Okay, and let's take a last look at the command models. Here's the musician. I see you. Who's a grumpy guy? Who's a grumpy guy? Yes, you are. You're a grumpy guy. For the brass, I used dwarf bronze and then I highlight it up with mithril silver. And once you wash it with a little bit of griffin sepia, then it uh, it really comes, up, comes out looking more brassy. Brass bull. What I love with this guy is that his, his chainmail hoodie comes down really low over his face so you can't see his eyes. So I just reinforced that by painting a little line of bad black underneath so you can't really see his eyes under there. <laughs> oh man. So I was like, how am I going to paint those pupils? I can't even see where they... Oops, sorry about that. Uh, basically, just wrapping up. So I said... What was I saying? Yeah, if you can't see the eyes, just forget it. I'm just gonna paint it to look like it's shaded. And here's the skull and metal banner. So, thanks for watching. Sorry this wasn't a more complete in with the old, but you know how it is. I'll see you in the next one.